Hey guys, I thought about an interesting new project, at least for the next couple of weeks here on the DistroTube channel. Instead of me spending uh, most of my time reviewing new Linux releases, new distro releases, I thought about going a little more in-depth and reviewing window managers, in particular window managers that the general public doesn't know about, window managers the general Linux public even doesn't know about, and even window managers that I myself don't know much about. So I'm talking about the lesser known Linux window managers, uh, you know, the more obscure window managers that don't get a lot of love. I may also uh, review some that do get a little bit of love, but you know, we're not reviewing any of the big desktop environments. We're going to stick to strictly window managers. And right now I've got my virtual machine up and running. This is my virtual machine of Manjaro, the i3 edition. And let me log in here. And let me launch Genie. And just playing around tonight here in Manjaro's i3 edition. The i3 edition of Manjaro is very minimal. It has the i3 window manager installed on it and not much else, just a handful of programs. So I thought about, you know, this would make a great base to test out other window managers, other desktop environments. So, you know what? I decided I was just going to take this vir virtual machine here and I was going to load it up with a bunch of window managers that. Some of them I've played around in and I quite like. Some of them I don't know much about at all. Some of them I don't know anything about. So I opened up a terminal and I entered sudo pacman dash capital S. So basically we're installing software. And then I installed awesome fluxbox fvwm erbst luft wm ice wm jwm openbox Peck WM, TWM, and Xmonad. And then on top of that, from the AUR, the Arch User Repository, I also installed Qtile. So that is 12 window managers. Count them. 12. As the, the screen is backwards. The reflection from the camera is backwards, but that should be 12. Alright, 12 window managers I installed on this system. I entered all of this, of course, in a terminal. Let me cancel, get out of this document here. And exit out of i3. And after I entered all that information in the terminal, when I get back to the login manager here, the light DM login manager, and I hit the little icon here for the window manager, Look at all the window managers. All the window managers we have installed now. We have FBWM, JWM, Openbox, PEC WM, Qtile, TWM, Xmonad, Awesome Fluxbox, Herbst Luft WM, i3, and the ICE window manager. All installed on this system now. Now, these are all very, very minimal window managers. They're not configed at all. If I logged into some of these, say Xmonad right now, it would just be a black screen and nothing else uh, because, you know, you have to config these window managers. Uh, you, you guys have seen me many times config OpenBox from a, a bare minimal install. The OpenBox window manager is the same way when you first launch it after install. There's nothing to it. It's a solid color background, nothing else. Uh, well, let me just open one and I'll show you Fluxbox. Uh, I haven't done really much with this since I installed it. Other than sudo pacman install or sudo pacman dash s uh, Fluxbox. This is Fluxbox. Yeah, again, it's just a solid color background. We have a panel at the bottom. Fluxbox comes with a panel. And then we have a menu. Uh, Fluxbox, the menu that it comes with by default, has nothing in it. I actually made this menu with a program called menu maker that's the only reason I have anything really populated in this menu but again I, I haven't really configured this 
I'm going to play around with Fluxbox later. I don't know that much about Fluxbox. I played around with it a little bit. But again, I installed all these window managers to learn a little bit more about it and to share me configuring these win window managers with you guys. So let me exit out of this. And just showing you some of the, the ones that I'm going to take a look at. I mentioned Xmonad. Let's go ahead and log into it. This is Xmonad out of the box. It's a black screen. Nothing to it. Uh, unless you know how to open a terminal, uh, you're in big trouble right now if this is the first time you're launching Xmonad. I happen to know the default key binding to open a terminal in Xmonad. It is Alt, Shift, Enter. But if you did not know that, you would be in a lot of trouble. So, exit. Oh, exit out of that. And I happen to know the uh, default key binding to to uh, quit Xmonad. It's Alt Shift Q. Oh, sh showing you some of the others that haven't really been configured yet. Uh, the Ice Window Manager. The Ice Window Manager actually out of the box has a little more to it. It has a, a, a functional panel. It has a menu. That menu is also a right click menu on the desktop. The, it's a, the exact same menu that's here. That's the ICE window manager. Again, I, I'm going to play around with it. You know, do more with it. But anyway, I have 12 window managers here installed in this virtual machine here in Manjaro. And most of them I don't know anything about. FVWM I know nothing about. JWM which is Joe's window manager I've seen it a couple of times in some of the distros I've reviewed I don't know really anything about it. Openbox I know a lot about Openbox. Uh, PEC WM I don't know much about it but it's very similar in look and feel to Openbox and Fluxbox so should be pretty straightforward. Qtile I know quite a bit about that. It's a tiling window manager written in Python uh, one of my favorite window managers, actually. TWM, I know nothing about. Xmonad, I know quite a bit about. It's a tiling window manager, a very popular tiling window manager that's been around since the beginning of time, practically. Uh, so I, I know quite a bit about Xmonad. Awesome, I know a little bit about Awesome, too. I played a, a bit with Awesome several years back. I actually lived in Awesome for a few months. Fluxbox, I know a little bit about Fluxbox. The uh, Erbst Luft WM, don't know anything about. It's a tiling window manager, don't know anything about it. i3, I know like this much about i3. It's, it's a very popular tiling window manager. It's become very popular in the last couple of years, but I, I've never lived in it myself. Ice window manager, I don't know much about either. So this is going to be a, a pretty fun project for me. I think it's going to be a pretty fun project for the channel, too. I think you guys are, are going to get a kick out of it. And what I was thinking about is as I go along with this and review each one of these window managers, I'm going to save this virtual machine. I mean, I, I've been running this through my head. Why don't I save some of these virtual machines and upload them to something like SourceForge so you guys can pull them down and you know after I've configured you know open box or flux box or xmonad or whatever and you guys want to play around in a fully configured because you guys always ask me about where can I get the config files how did you do this do that why don't I just set it up for you and I put it on the internet you guys just pull it down I'll, I'll put up the virtual box disk image on source source forge if you got virtual box installed on your system you just download that image you import it straight into VirtualBox and you have exactly what I have on your machine. So that's what I'm thinking about doing anyway. But we'll see. But anyway, peace guys.